Welcome to Lathrop House. This video will give you an introduction to the history of the house and the lifestyle of the families who lived here. Lathrop House is on the National Register for Historic Places. Built in 1863, it is a rare example of the Victorian steamboat Gothic style and was home to three prominent local families, the Lathrops, the Connors and the Mansfields. As we move inside the house, Notice the entry hall with a coat rack for coats, hats and umbrellas. The front parlour was reserved for entertaining guests. On the wall would be the family's treasured oil paintings. These oil paintings were purchased by Benjamin Lathrop in France. The parlour held the best furniture the family owned and also a piano or early organ for entertaining their guests with live music. On the mantel are photographs of General Patrick Connor and his wife, Joanna. They bought Lathrop House and moved here in 1870. Their only daughter, Kate, grew up in Lathrop House while her father was away working on his businesses in Utah. Victorian families, like families today, enjoyed listening to music. One outstanding feature of the parlour is the piano, which was the property of Kate Connor. Across the room from the front parlour is the study. We think this was likely Benjamin Lathrop's office. Furnishings and photographs reflect the Civil War period, the period when this house was built. President Lincoln was the US president at this time. Benjamin Lathrop designed and built Lathrop House on Broadway, across the street from the San Mateo County Courthouse. The town of Redwood City was the new county seat for San Mateo County, and Mr Lathrop was very active in county government as the county assessor, clerk, recorder. Benjamin Lathrop might have worked at a desk like this, using pen and ink for his correspondence. Among our treasures, we have an early typewriter. A dial is used to select a letter, the lever pressed and the letter is printed on the paper above. The ornate Victorian lights at Lathrop House use either gas or kerosene oil. Redwood City houses had no electric lighting in 1860. The oil lamps can be identified by the bowls in the lamp used to contain the oil and must be low enough to be lit every day as the sun went down. Going back to the large hallway, we move to the back of the house. On the way, notice the pass hall with doors on either side to access the carriage porch for guests arriving by horse and carriage and a second door that can be opened for cross ventilation. The next room was the main room for family activities, serving as both the living and dining room. It is the largest room positioned at the centre of the house with a large fireplace. The wooden chair rail around the room allows chairs to be moved against the wall without damaging the expensive wallpaper. In this room hangs a picture of Joel Mansfield, the third prominent owner of Lathrop House. Joel Mansfield was a sheriff of San Mateo County. His family moved the house to Hamilton Street in 1905 and they lived here until 1921. The furnishings are from the estates of other local Redwood City families, a set of three upholstered Victorian chairs, a large dining room set and an antique fireplace mantel. Attached to the main room is the back parlour. This room currently contains a wood-burning stove matching the age of the house. However, the original kitchen was outside the main house as a wood-burning stove would be a fire hazard. We have antique wooden butter presses and churns to stir thick cream into butter. On the wall, our early photographs of Redwood City. Although this was not the kitchen, 
we have a wonderful collection of antique kitchen tools. Do you have any of these at your house? Maybe you have a rolling pin or a hand mixer. Maybe a bean shredder, maybe a whisk or a soap saver or maybe a meat grinder. Our early telephone has no numbers to press. How do you think you can call your friends? This telephone only calls one number. This is the number for the operator. When the telephone operator answers, you have to ask them to connect your phone to your friend's phone. And then you can talk on the party line. Now let's go upstairs. In the steep stairway, you can see the ornate reproduction Victorian wallpaper. At the top of the stairs, you can see another of our beautiful Victorian lights. The master bedroom is a large room to accommodate both the parents and maybe the baby or a younger child in the family. The wallpaper in this room is a reproduction of the original paper found during the restoration of Lathrop House. The bed in this room is pre-Civil War. Under the mattress, you can see that instead of a wooden or spring base, they used rope for support. Other items include a travel trunk and a portable bathtub. Every bedroom in the house had a washstand. In the morning, the servants would bring hot water for washing in the bedroom. There was no indoor plumbing and the toilets were in a separate building. In the small room next to the bedroom, we have some early fashions, wedding dresses, a dress that might be worn when visiting friends, and an early ladies bathing costume. The last room we will visit in the house is Kate Connor's bedroom. A young Victorian girl might have just one or two dolls. As these are treasured possessions, many children's toys have been saved and donated to our collection. The room also has a chamber pot as the bathrooms were outside. An early school desk with a slate tablet and a large doll's house. The Victorian bed and dresser belonged to Kate Connor. Finishing the history, we have some early photographs of Redwood City with Lathrop House in the background and also of Lathrop House itself. Thank you for your attention and we hope you have learned some new facts about Lathrop House and the interesting lives of the Victorian families in Redwood City.